Cost decline for gold and silver can bring you back to 1600, maybe to 1500 briefly, and then it will turn and it will run. And, and I expect that to start later this year. This is move away from the dollar mean for hard assets. Which assets will benefit the most from this move? Um, maybe all, but I think gold, gold, and gold in the end, and and even silver will um, will have the largest advantage. Uh, be, and people people never understand. So how can how can gold be a great beneficiary of this of this of this change? While well, gold is going down now. But you've been long enough in financial markets to know the first move is the false move. So I think there's a huge demand for physical gold and silver. There was a study by Roman Manley on the physical silver, yeah. go, uh, fleeing from the vaults in, uh, in London, right. in Chicago. Yes. So pretty soon we might reach a point where there will be um, Maybe you divide between the paper price of silver and the physical price of silver. We've seen the same thing happening with palladium three years ago. There were a lot of paper shorts in palladium. Then there was too much demand for the physical stuff. The paper shorts needed to cover and palladium price went up 3x. And I think um, we could have the same development in gold, silver and also platinum. In terms of the price, a lot of investors in gold were disappointed that it only went to $2,000 yeah. in 2020. Yeah. If you look at the last bull cycle, it went from $300 to $400 in 2001, all the way to close to $2,000 in 2011. That's over a 10 year period, uh, almost eight times. Yeah. We did not go up eight times in the last cycle. It could happen in the next cycle. And the okay. next cycle is about to start. That's what I think. Okay. So we'll have the last decline for gold and silver can bring you back to 1600, maybe to 1500 briefly, and then it will turn and it will run. And, and I expect that to start later this year. And I think that will, and the, the catalyst for that move is, is the current crisis, geopolitical crisis. Because countries east of Germany, like Poland and Hungary, they're adding to their gold reserve, and some are adding 10x to their gold right. reserves. The Eastern, I've noticed that the Eastern Central Banks have been very active in adding to their gold reserves, where you've got the Western countries very inactive in doing that. And you know why? Because the Western countries are still the allies from the Second World War, and they're there to support their big brother, which is the US. So they're not allowed, they're not allowed, they're told by the US, don't start buying gold because gold is the anti-dollar. But we stopped selling gold in the West and we're repatriating our gold from the US. And this has been ongoing for the last 10 years because this all started after the start of the Lehman crisis. After the start of Lehman crisis, Russia and China started to buy a lot of physical gold. And now we get into the end game of this, of this US dollar, dollar, um, uh, based uh, financial system and, and, and actually I think these are the first stages of the monetary reset and when we look back in, in 10 years from now or eight years from now when we look back in 2030 we'll say Jesus so much has changed in the last few years according depending on what study you look at but up to 65 percent of global trade is still done with the US dollar yeah. yes. we talked about how that's going to change Exactly how would it change? Which currencies could take up more of the pie? Well, I gave the example. Russia supplying cheap energy to India and China. They pay with their own currency. Maybe it's just 1% less foreign trade in, 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 in dollars. So you go from 65 to 64 and next year it goes from 64 to, to 62. Yeah. And, and you know, often these changes, they start with small changes and then you have the big they're making their they own could. currency. Can they start transacting in gold? No, but there's a risk that the BRIC countries, and there have been some statements by Russians that they're studying to build their own financial system, the BRIC system, yes. and that could be gold backed or gold, gold related. So they're, they're flirting with the idea. It's a challenge to the US based SDR. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. When that would happen. And then, and then we could end into a very serious financial economic conflict between the East and the West. And of course, we know that um, 
you have people in the US who say we better fight China now than in 10 years time because in 10 years time the, the Chinese Navy and the Chinese military will be, become stronger. Well, and I'm, I'm a bit afraid that the, the same forces who brought regime change to the Ukraine is documented. Uh, the US invested 5 billion in regime change in Ukraine. So the US pushed Ukraine towards war. The same forces can push for war with China as well. I'm gonna posit a theory to you. This is my own theory. Feel free to disagree with it. But the next conflict between the East and the West could be fought over rare earth minerals. This is an article that you actually brought to my attention. Yeah. I'm just gonna read a few paragraphs here. This is from the European Union, yeah. uh, European Commission and study on critical raw materials. It says lithium and rare earths will soon be more important than oil and gas. Our demand for rare earths alone will increase fivefold by 2030. We must avoid becoming dependent again as we did with oil and gas. So I think they're learning the lesson with Russia. And oh, yeah. the hidden line is who's the biggest supplier of lithium right now in the world? Um, China. Yeah, and they also say we will then identify strategic projects along the supply chain mm. from extracting to refining. And this was said in the State of the European Union speech by the President of the European Union. I've never seen something like this. So this will be huge for the world of commodities. We are commodity investors. And I think commodities have had a very, well, um, well, we've been in this long bear market. It, it, it was struggling to survive, but, but everything going on now, the supply and demand, the shortages, which are all expected to arrive around 2025, yes. uh, all countries willing to build their own reserves now. Um, so this, this will be very good for the mining space. And I, I, of course, I'm talking my book here. Yeah, of course. Well, everybody but, is. Yeah, but I can't see how this will be bad for our industry. I mean, very good points you brought up. But just in the first sentence, lithium and rare earths will be soon more important than oil and gas. Do you agree with that? No, I was, I, was, I was surprised by that statement. I, yeah. I would have said copper and nickel. <laughs> okay. Because rare earth is such a small market. But why do they say rare earth? Because 90%, 95% of the rare earth production yeah. comes from China. Yes. And they they need rare earth in very small quantities, but they need it in their green revolution. So that's why they pick it. And I think they, they also think this communicates better with the broader audience instead of nickel or, uh, or copper. I understand the trend. Electric vehicles, electrification yeah. of everything needs a lot of rare earths. Copper is not a rare earth, but it's a base metal yeah. that's needed. Cobalt, yeah. lithium, silver, and everything. Nickel. Yeah, nickel. But zinc as well. That's why we invest in all of these metals and even uranium. Yeah. Even uranium gets more important yeah. because you need uranium in, in, when you have a move away from fossil fuels and you go to the green, well, solar and wind energy, we have weeks in Europe in November, there's no sun, there's no wind. So you need uranium for your base case. To say that oil will become less important is to assume that the electrification movement will be successful. Well, they push it in uh, uh, Brussels. Our government in Brussels, the European Union, they agreed that from 2035 only EVs are allowed to be sold. This will become another crisis because imagine Germany with the long distance, but it's, a, it's, it's becoming a law now. You have to build charging stations on the autobahn. Oh yeah, but, but imagine go, during the holiday weekends, yeah. it, will be, it will be chaos, chaos.